Hello everyone and today I'm going to talk about toy organization and how to manage your children's toys. Here I am in front of my toy closet. I am a mom of five and these are all the toys that my kids have. They don't have toys in their bedrooms, in the living room or anywhere else. In their bedrooms they do keep a few stuffed animals that they have, maybe more than a few, you know, kids love stuffed animals, but they have a little stuffed animal connection in their collection in their rooms. Um, but all of their toys are in here. This is where they keep all of their toys. And this is what we, we have been doing for the last five years. Um, we have toys in categories, in different categories. When they want to play with it, they ask me for the toys. They can't just come in here. There's a latch on the door, and they can bring one or two of the bins out, play with them. When they're done, put it back into the bin and put it away. Um, so let me give you an example. So instead of having a whole playset kitchen for your kids, I have a little bin that's labeled play kitchen, right? And then in there, there's a little stove, a little microwave, the apron, the felt food, the play food, and they play with it. They set up their scenario, they play with it. When they're done, they put it back in the bin and back into the closet. Um, the same thing with the dolls. We have a few doll houses here, um, and then we have a little bin for the doll houses with the furniture and the things. So they take the doll houses out and the furniture, they play with it. When they're done, they put the little furniture back into the little furniture bin. And that's how we do it, guys. I, I think it also keeps things new. If you leave things out all the time for your kids, um, it'll just become like something that they don't play with anymore. They lose interest in their toys. So this is the way that I do toy rotation also because every time we take a new bin out, it's like, whoa, we, we haven't played with this for a while. It's so exciting, so new. Um, we don't buy toys every year, guys. We don't. And we talked about a non-toy Christmas. I'll try to link that video below somewhere. And um, toys are something that we have our kids earn and that we really put to the test. Do you guys really want that? You, are you just getting that because your little friend has it? Do you, do you think that you'll really find value in that? And, and I want my kids to value the things that they have because having toys is a privilege. I talked about how before I came to this country, I only had one little doll. And um, I want my kids to learn the value of things. Some of you are going to look at this video and you're going to say, Whoa, you have a lot of toys. Some of you are going to look at it and you're going to say, Whoa, that's all you have for your kids? Whoa, those poor kids. And no, my kids are not poor. They, they, they have, I think, a little bit too much. And... Um, I don't feel bad that I have to put things in categories for them and have everything organized because what I did feel bad about was having toys all over the place and begging my kids to please put their toys away and seeing them disrespect their toys and the way that disregarded their toys, the way that disregarded their toys. I didn't like that. And so that's why I created the system. It's not sad. It's, it's wonderful. My kids play hours and hours, sometimes days with the scenarios that they create. And um, it's a wonderful way of organizing toys and of having children respect and value the things that they have. All right, guys, now let me bring you guys a little closer so that you can see how I organize everything into little bins. Okay, so let's take a peek inside. In this basket over here, we have a dress up bin, and this is um, things for dress ups such as hats and skirts and dresses and shields. Anything that has to do with uh, pretend play and dress up is in here, including play silks as well, crowns, all types of things, you guys. You even find wigs in there as well. <laughs> all right, over here we have um, little horses that they love running around and playing with, and they play all types of games with that. It's really something that they love. Down here we have outdoor toys and anything that has to do with the outdoors. So balls and we have jump rope. We have playing catch games, balls, we have ring toss, all types of things are in there for outdoor toys. And sometimes when we're going to go to the park, we'll bring the whole bin with us and we'll set up different outdoor scenarios. Here we have an exercise mat. Over here we have baby toys and this is anything from ages one to I would say three and we rotate things out. We have a little basket in the homeschool room where we rotate things out so things are always new um, and they're not always seeing these toys all the time. Over here we have a kitchen play. Anything that has to do with setting up a kitchen and a, and a restaurant scenario is in here from the microwave to the little hats you wear and the aprons and the play food and the felt food. Anything is in there. And the good thing is that once they're done, it gets put right back into that bin. 
Over here we have straws and connectors and this doesn't get taken out very much. It's something that they build like little homes with and huts with and tunnels with. And it's something that is really messy and when we do take it out, um, it's out there for a few days, sometimes a week because they build these homes with it and it takes a long time to build with. We have a lot of building toys. Here we have Knex. So Knex is another building toy that they absolutely have loved throughout the years and it's a favorite here. Here we have Lego Duplo, another building toy. This is a great introductory building toy for ages, I would say one to three. And um, it's great because it's not a choking hazard and little kids love building with those. They're very easy to build for the, for the little hands. Here we have building scenarios and this is all for the doll house furniture, like little beds and chairs and anything that they have to use for building scenarios, like little trees, anything that they need for building their little scenarios whatever whatever it's a zoo or whatever it is just like mi mi mix and match pieces in there to build little scenarios with so they can build a zoo they can build a dollhouse they can build you name it with the building scenarios bin all right let's move on to the top cars so there's vehicles in there and airplanes and little trucks it's the car bin and my little boy loves it here we have potato heads for those of you who are too young to know what potato heads are, these are potato heads and there's accessories and eyes and mouths and my kids love potato heads. It's a classic toy and it's been around for a long time. Here we have figurines and wooden dolls. This is probably one of their favorites. Figurines and wooden dolls and the plastic animal bins get used probably the most here. So figurines and, and wooden dolls and all types of things. So they use this for their doll houses. They use this for their scenarios um, and they love it. Here we have plastic animals, of course, a classic. This is, has probably been around here for at least 10 years. All the plastic animals. All right, let's move on to the next side over here. More building things. We have magnet tiles and mag formers. So that's what those look like. They're like magnetic tiles that the kids build with. And um, again, so the kids can pick whatever figurines, whatever plastic animals they want, and they can build homes for them. So it's really open-ended stuff. Again, Legos, they're a favorite in probably every home. And my kids have this huge bin of Legos, huge. I mean, we have the little mats where they can build, each can build a little scenario with their Legos. And I'm sure you guys have seen them in my videos. In this little bin, we have like the little extra things for the Legos, like the little accessories and the little figurines for the Legos are all in there. All right, let's move it on to the top. Promise, guys, we're almost done. Here we have little doll houses. We have a little, um, I forget what this is called, but it's just a little doll house. And then this is a strawberry shortcake little house. And they have all of the furniture for those two little houses in the, um, where is it? In the building scenarios bin. Here we have dolls, anything that has to do with dolls and doll clothes and shoes for dolls and baby bottles for dolls is all in here. Whenever they want to build up a scenario for their dolls, here we have a little crib, here we have a little stroller. They take that out and they play with their dolls and when they're done, they get to put them away. Over here we have Kiva planks and that's another building tour that my kids absolutely love. It doesn't get taken out a whole lot, but when they do, again, they play with it for a few days, sometimes a week. There we have water toys. So when, they, when they're in the bath and when they're playing with water sensory bins or when they're playing with anything that has to do with water, that's in there, um, water toys. Over there we have Polly Pockets. Sorry for the holes in the walls, guys. It's real life here. We have Polly Pockets, guys. I, I don't know if you guys know what Polly Pockets are. Um, let me just take it down because maybe you guys are just too young for this stuff. I played with Polly Pockets growing up and um, when I came to this country in the US, right? These are one of my favorite toys that I got when I came here. So these are Polly Pockets, guys, and they are like little dolls. Like they don't sell these anymore. These I got secondhand in either eBay or if I can open one of these guys, I will, I promise you, I will get to open one. So they're little houses inside and um, everyone, every single one is a different house, beautiful. If you guys want I can make more videos about the, the things inside and then there's like the little dolls um, the little dolls are in here guys we keep all the little dolls in here for the little houses so when they play with this they're playing with it for a few days as well they're building a whole little city of Polly Pockets and 
it's huge and they love their poly pockets it's kind of like a love that i have passed down to them because growing up i love poly pockets so now they have a whole poly pocket bin and guess what you guys you best be assured that i'm playing with these poly pockets myself all right i think that's it guys uh up there in that little green bag from whole foods is uh, a little train set for my girls and for my little boy of course and they all love the little train set and that's it you guys these are all the toys that my kids have and now i'm gonna go ahead and take a few of these bins out and share with you how we put them on a shelf and how our kids play with them so come along all right so here we are guys this is right in front of our closet this is our basement and over here, I have taken two little bins out. We already had our wooden blocks out. I didn't get to show you guys this, but we have wooden blocks for the kids, a whole bin of wooden blocks, Melissa and Doug. I'm going to link a lot of these toys below in the description box if you guys are interested in getting them. Here we have a little house, a little wooden house from Ikea, and it's usually blank unless the kids take out the furniture for it. So I've taken two bins out just to give you an example of how we do this. And these two bins, I took out the figurines and the wooden dolls and the building scenarios. I put them in these little baskets because it just makes it so appealing to be in these little baskets and it's really an invitation to play. So I'm gonna call my girls on here, my little boy, and they can come play. Um, let me show you over here, guys. I didn't show you this, this is the last bit of what we had for the toys. These were secondhand items that we found for free. They were throwing them out at a church. It's a, it's a car track for my boy and he uses his carbon to play with them so these are all the toys that he has um he has a little carbon that i showed you in the closet and then he plays with them here with his little car garage thing all right so this is it guys i'm gonna go ahead and um bring my kids on here so they can share with you how they build a little scenario with this all right so here are the kids playing with the two bins that i took out um and so they're building a little dollhouse um, this other child is building another little house over here. They usually build like their little houses separately. And um, here's Lukey. What are you building, Luke? Oh, you're building something for your cars? All right. So this is uh, the way they set up their scenarios. And they'll play here for a few hours. Um, and then they'll put it back in the bin if they're done. Sometimes they'll ask me to leave something out for a few days because it takes them a long time to build a city or a particular scenario and they'll want it to be left out for a few days. And that's fine with me because my goal is to not have a completely, you know, uh, clutter-free home of toys, but a manageable home. So that at any given moment, you know, it's been a few days, you know what guys, we gotta pick up these toys, we're done. And they'll put them back into, into those two plastic bins that were initially taken out and will be put back into the closet. Do you see how it's manageable and how um, it never becomes unmanageable? Everything gets sorted back out where it was. It was those two bins that were initially taken out that can be put back into the closet very easily. It takes five minutes to put it all away. Instead of taking an hour to clean up your kids' toys, there's a really manageable way to do it. So I also wanted to mention that a lot of the things that I have here are thrifted, secondhand, um, and so a lot of things that you saw in the video, you may want to get for your kids. Check your local thrift shop, check your local churches and see if you can get them even Facebook marketplace. I get a lot of things there also for free. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll link below a lot of the resources that I have in the closet. If you want to get them for your kids, I'll link them below. Um, if you have any questions, any suggestions for the viewers, please put them in the comments below. We would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Until the next video, say bye kids. Bye.